wrote this song. I know he lived here. He was from, I believe, Timbo over here. Uh, he was, we well, understand it. He was a he was a, a history teacher, and he was also a folk balladeer. I'm talking about Mr. Jimmy Morris, but his but his pseudonym name or or writing name, the name he wrote under was uh, Jimmy Driftwood. That's what this barn's named after. And he wrote this song. I can tell you this, a doggone guy managed to win himself a Grammy Award in 1959. And this particular song, I know sold very well over a million copies for Johnny Horton. I'll tell you, this song is still selling to this day. And I never had the honor of meeting Mr. Driftwood. I wish to the Lord I would have, but I never did. I kept thinking one of these days I'm going to swing in there and introduce myself to him, and I was afraid I might get run off or something. But at any rate, since I've met a lot of his friends and some of his kin folks here, said, no, nah, he said, come on in. But at any rate, he's gone and went to that big stage up in the sky, but he's still in our hearts, and some of the music that Mr. Driftwood left us all, just, just think, just look at what he left us here, all to, all to pick and some of the songs to sing and a beautiful place to pick in. I mean, what more could you ask for? I mean, yeah. I'm talking about a song called The Battle of New Orleans. I know you all come to us and jump in and sing with it. Guns and the British kept coming, causing lights, many as there was a while. 